and welcome back. This is Ballers Good Boys, an episode of Let's Play Xeno Gears. I'm joined as always by Fei Fong Wong. One thing I should mention for that fight we did against the Vendetta, um, we actually got 32,397 experience and 50,000 G, even though the game did not tell us that. We will continue the game now. Let's go ahead and go. We've probably got more reading to do. Actually, I know we do. The key loves capitals. Nortoon's central administrative administrative district itself was a sealed battleship, a secret battleship constructed by Bart's ancestor Roni Fatima after the Great War with Solaris many hundreds of years ago. The existence of the secret battleship remained hidden. Later, the ship was turned into a section of the Kislev Imperial capital during the founding of the Empire. Uncovering this truth from some ancient records, Bart activated the secret battleship in order to fight against the Solarian Mobile Surface Supremacy Weapon! What? The Sand Cruiser Yggdrasil was actually the center of command, and also the main secret weapon of the craft. Awakening from 500 years of dormancy, its true form appeared before us. Commanded by its new master, the secret battleship stood before the mobile weapon with all of us inside it. I don't know who's talking, I assume it's Faye again. But yes, the middle of Kislev, the administrative district, which they for some reason called the administrative district, is a battleship that we will use against the Solarian mobile weapon sun-looking thingy. So, it's time for a battleship war. Us in uh, the Yggdrasil with the pink around it. And what the hell? It's a transformer? Uh oh. What? I, I don't understand, game! So... It wasn't really a battleship, it's a gear in disguise? It's Voltron? It's... What the hell is going on? We must pan up slowly. Super Dimensional Gear, Yggdrasil 4, I bet Bart named it. Hiya! Yes, he did. Transformation complete! Come on, monster, let's go! And I don't know. Holy crap, what the hell is that? Okay, this is Fort Hurricane, apparently. 161 damage out of my 100,000 health. Oh no, whatever shall I do? I have 9,900 fuel? Good lord. Okay, I am going to use a booster. Because I want to use a booster. Seriously, what are you doing, Fort Hurricane? I... Three... You don't stand a chance. Holy crap. Just... Let's just punch it in the face or... Whatever. 4,000 damage. <gasps> Holy crap! Just from a regular strong attack. Uh, does it have combos? I honestly don't remember this fight at all. Um, no, no, it doesn't. So weak attack. Still for a thousand damage. This thing it sucks. What? What are you doing, man? So no attack levels. So just, just punch it. Smack it, whatever, you know, like, double hammer fist from the sky, whatever it is you want to do. <sighs> this Fort Hurricane is pissing me off. This goes so slow. Oh no! I'm only at 98% health. What the hell? I don't think... If you want to wait around and lose this battle, feel free. I don't have that kind of time, so I'm just going to win. Because as far as I can see, this doesn't do any sort of massive attack. And I think this is going to be enough for the victory right here. Another 4,000 is for the win. 
Down goes Fort Hurricane! We punched it real good! And down it goes! Why the game is so slow for me right now, I have no idea. But, that's the battle. You get 32,367 experience. Bart get a, gets a level up. We get 50,000 gold. Yay! But now we're back in, uh... Where are we? Oh, we're back in the monologue scene. The Solaris mobile infantry was destroyed, which brought a sigh of relief to the continent of Ignis. Peace was signed, and after some 500 years of division, the land of Ignis once again began united. Excitement spread throughout Alve, Nissan, Kislev, Shavat. The sky shimmered as if to celebrate. By the hands of Eli, Satan, Tora, and Emeralda, the nanomachines had been dispersed into the atmosphere. That was when disaster struck. Our songs of victory were, were, were replaced by the sounds of total pandemonium. In the beginning, we had no idea what had transpired. We witnessed unexplicable phenomena. People from all parts of the globe began to mutate into abnormal forms. It seemed to be triggered when the nanomachines removed the limiter seal that was replaced on humankind by Krellian in the past. The human form with its innate abilities released. That's when I remembered what Hammer had said back in Solaris. His words were, what becomes of the normal humans? I don't, I don't understand. We did bad? No, we do good. We help, no? So, they are naturally germinating because the resurrection of God is near. Those who will become the body of our servant. I never knew so many would exist, even without using the key. But, some of them still have not yet begun to germinate. Are they not destined to be the flesh of God? Or perhaps those are the enemies of God? Let's reactivate the strategic points of the Soylent. At any rate, they are just incomplete mutants. They are useless now in their half-finished forms. God's apostles. There cannot be any harm in having too many of them. That... I think we did bad. That's... that's not good. That is bad. So... How you doing, Krellian? And I assume Miang. Yes, yes it is Miang. The chains that restrained humankind have been removed because of you. But that doesn't mean there is anything wrong with our plan. Everything is still under control. In the event of the explosion in the capital of Solaris earlier, I had set up a nanomachine virus to diffuse into the atmosphere. I knew they would they were eventually going to break the seal, but the timing was a little close for comfort. The current mutations of the humans are an initial response to the virus. Once the virus we spread over the world germinates inside of the humans, they are no longer the same. They change into a controllable form. We need humans that do not depend on the key's invocation in order to awaken. In other words, a being to take the place of the original body of God. It's like a Trojan horse released at the time of the assimilation with God. A literal virus. But isn't it different from what they intended? Of course. We can't let them have it their way. The Ark of God is mine. Either way is fine by me. I will just side with whichever is the more certain one anyway. Ah, bandwagon jumper. So... These are the mutants, or the Soylent system? A group of facilities formerly created by Solaris. We started them back up? People are like, hey, let's go in. These facilities existed all over the Earth. It is said that originally that these were used for biological experiments and brainwashing. The people who mutated into what were called wells, or the true form of humans, gathered at these facilities. Wells are the true forms of humans? What? Some of the humans turned wells were attacking healthy humans and devouring their flesh and blood. 
That is because a healthy human flesh and blood eased the pain of their sudden molecular changes and let them live longer. Their lives were so short. So they're zombies. Awesome. Soon after, severely mutated beings started to seek the flesh and blood of the less mutated beings. 